Hello and welcome to my quick Pika Labs review where I'm gonna be giving you an overview and demo of this tool as well as talking about is it going to be worth using for you. Let's get right on into it. So in case you're unfamiliar with it, what this does is allow you to take some text and turn it into a very short video. Let's describe our story on the bottom and then we will work from there with some of the features and of course some of my older results that we've gotten. All right, so we have a kangaroo on the moon wearing boxing gloves. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but when it comes to AI, there's a world of possibilities, right? So the cool thing about this is that before you actually enter this in, there's gonna be some options. So we have video options, we have the aspect ratio and the frames per second in case you wanna edit that. This is gonna be probably a cool one that I think a lot of people will like when it comes to the camera motion. You can pan, you can tilt, you can rotate, you can zoom. For this one, I'm just gonna go with the zoom just to show you. And of course, there's gonna be some other parameters here in case you wanna add some things like that. I don't mess around with that too much. So just to give you the basics, I'm gonna click on this plus sign or star, whatever you wanna call it. And what's gonna happen, it's gonna start generating here. And it's gonna take maybe about 30 seconds or so. And once this is done, I will get back to you and then we will talk about it and I will go over some other examples of things that you can utilize with Pika Labs. All right, so here we have a kangaroo on the moon wearing boxing gloves. So. You know, a little tough to do sometimes, like this kangaroo has a good amount of hair, but I mean, the idea is there, right? With boxing gloves, I'm not sure what it's boxing. What you can also do is click on this in case you wanna get a little bit bigger for some more detail and so on and so forth. Now with that, there is the ability to retry. So if you wanna retry and get another one, this is most likely gonna be your best friend. Aside from that, it's gonna be like redoing it or reprompting, because what you can do, if we all right, getting back to it, I just was uh, distracted for a second. If you click on reprompt, what'll happen is you can get what you use there and then just simply go from there and like do something else if you wanted to change it up that way, okay? There's also gonna be some other things going on here, like if you wanna add four seconds, if you wanna upscale it, keep in mind these are just gonna be with some of the paid plans, okay? And of course, this is if you wanna like share it, you know, that's up to you or just copy the link. So that's gonna be the general idea when it comes to creating what you're looking to create. In case you're gonna need some help, I think you might in case you're like me and you're not the best at like actually giving directions because you'll notice that if you do astronaut walking away cinematic, if you just put that in, you can get a lot of different variations of that. It might not always look as realistic. It could be more cartoony. That's the idea with retry and more of giving it more examples when it comes to the prompts. If you look at some of these, some of them are phenomenal like this. It says astronaut sitting at control board with blinking lights. If I was to put that in there and do it again, it might not look as good as this. And that's just the nature of AI, right? So kind of giving you some more ideas here of other aspects that have been created. Some of them are phenomenal. Like I think that one looks great. Looks AI, right? But in this one, we have a white horse in the forest. Looks beautiful. We got a seagull perched on the railing of a sailboat. Cinematic shot. That looks beautiful as well. Kind of like a neon future type of thing and so on and so forth and what i want to do is show you just kind of some of them that i've created i love doing stuff related to islands so this is like a vacation shot a picture perfect island is it really picture perfect you know that's up to you to say it is an island you know you got the sun glowing there it's rotating ever so slightly a little not much this one we have the waves crash against the island dark and stormy i think that looks really good Okay, and you'll notice something like this is also a great one. So what you can also do is utilize images and turn them into little clips as well. So before this was an image, but now you'll notice how it's zooming in, which I showed you how to add. Some of the fish are actually swimming. The hair is moving on the mermaid, which I thought was pretty cool. So some of these, this is gonna be another thing I do wanna talk about. A lot of times you can create something. I noticed like the mouths can be a little weird. So you'll notice it's kind of like morphing almost. I did a pirate before and once again, the mouth is a little wonky. So like I said, the retry might be your best friend. Uh, we have a cinematic shot of a parrot perched on the railing of a sailboat with an island in the background. That's pretty much what we got there. Cute puppy with its paws up on a step. Pretty good. Okay, we have a tiger walking through the forest. Once again, it could be a little bit better with the walking and the steps, but not bad overall. And this is another great example of an image that I uploaded. You'll notice this one zooming in. If you look at this, I thought it was great. Now we have those like little birds kind of flying. The mermaid is actually playing this like an instrument. It should be, right? And uh, the sun is glaring. So really, if you, if you take an image and you really want to add to it, I think it can look really great. Here's another great example. Once again, I think some of the best ones have been images that I uploaded and then like made them animated or moving around. What you can also do is upscale if you want to. I'll do this real quick. And you'll notice the same thing. It's going to start generating soon. So it's just going to make the quality a little bit better. I'll show you it when it's done. And there we are. It's hard to compare considering the fact like, you know, the other one, if we had it side by side, but that is the upscaled version, something else that you can also do. So 
Nevertheless, that's a very quick like overview and demo when it comes to using Pico Labs. It's mostly going to be about a lot of fine tuning. Nevertheless, in conclusion, I would say that Pico Labs stands as a promising and innovative software, offering a unique approach to transforming text into engaging videos. Its core functionality, while impressive, does require a considerable amount of fine tuning to achieve the desired results. This is largely dependent on the quality of the input provided, indicating that the success with Pico Labs is as much about the user's preparation as it is about the tools capabilities. Despite the challenges though, the potential for this is undeniable. For those willing to invest the time in mastering its nuances, Pico Labs could prove to be an invaluable tool in the ever evolving landscape of video content creation, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they will improve with newer features in the future. Considering the fact they do come with a free plan, it will give you a good idea of what to expect. It's definitely worth at least trying. So that about does it with my quick Pika Labs review. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, or if you just enjoyed this quick review, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.